What's up guys welcome back well, katie and i we are headed out to the coast of oregon to uh stay at a yurt it's gonna be our first time staying at a yurt so i'm pretty excited about that what about you me too i'm so excited the only thing is is today and tomorrow we're staying there for one night uh it's going to be the forecast says it's going to be raining filling up on gas right now but on the way here we've been running into some rain but it's supposed to be raining throughout today tonight and tomorrow so uh it's gonna be interesting we want to go camping so this yurt is at a campsite so if they do have no rain there then we do want to do like a campfire and stuff like that but if there is just constant raining then we might most likely just stay inside the yurt the other thing is our friends uh wade and mel and they're gonna bring their dogs to meet us up over there it's gonna be the four of us plus our dogs i think three dogs in one year so it's gonna be pretty cool i'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna be like in there it should sleep all of us just fine so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go there first check it out we'll give you a tour once we get there and then I'll just film things here and there throughout the night. We're also going to meet up with them probably for dinner in Astoria, Oregon, uh, where The Goonies was filmed. For those of you guys who ever seen or watched The Goonies. I don't know how everybody else's week was, but mine was really exhausting. So I'm like looking forward to going out in the woods with my friends and Bernie and just having so much fun. Yeah, this is how we uh, get away. And also... I'm hoping it doesn't rain there even for like a small window of like five minutes because I really want to try to get some drone footage out there as well um, if not it's all good maybe next time but yeah that those are the hopes and dreams right now either way rain or shine we're gonna be there we're gonna experience the year for the first time and we want to bring you guys along all right so we'll see you guys later Bye. Bye. Think. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go beds. This is cool. I like this. Alright, so let's give you guys a little tour. Alright, so this has a bunk bed. It has a little table with a little lamp. Let's see if this works. Yep. The lamp turns on. And then as you can see there's like a little mirror. Does this open? Nope, it doesn't open or anything, it's just stationary. This since there's a curtain, maybe this opens. Yeah. And that opens, yeah. But right now it's close for privacy sake. You got instructions here on how to turn the futon into a bed. So when you walk in, you, you can totally tell the difference between the outside temperature and the inside. It's much warmer in here. Yeah. So that's that's really cool. So that's a mini tour of the yurt. Mm -hmm. It's small, but it's like perfect for a weekend or overnight. It's awesome. Yeah. So when we booked this, uh, made a reservation on this yurt. It said that it was enough for five people, which makes sense because this is a queen. Up top is a, a twin. And then the uh, futon converts into like a, I think that's a queen or a king. So, but you do have to bring your own bedding. So I brought like a wool blanket and then we have a top quilts from our uh, hammocks. 
So we're using the top coast to cover the top of our body and we're using the wool blanket for the bottom. And it's, uh, you know, it's soft wool, so yeah. it's not gonna be itchy or anything like that. And the mattress actually feels pretty thick. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything. Yeah, so it's, we'll it's I, I think it's like a rooftop tent mattress, maybe a little bit, tiny bit thicker, like maybe one more inch thicker. So as you can tell, it's like a mix. It's been on and off rain. For the most part, it looks like it's blue skies. As you can tell in the drone footage, there were some clouds in the distance and it just keeps coming and going. Like, While the drone was in the air, I saw I felt some sprinkles fall, so I tried to bring it down real fast. So right now, we're gonna meet up with Wade and Mel, have dinner with them. Bernie. He's got his little outdoor jacket on, reversible. He's got his Irish heritage showing today. Yeah, Katie's Irish, so <laughs> she wanted to get him to dress up like a little bit Irish. We're gonna head out now. We'll catch you guys in a little bit. It's like the perfect night tonight. It is, it feels so good. We cleared out the yurt. So the way they do it is, is you just leave the key here on the table the next morning uh, when we're ready to leave. So we just leave that there. A few final things I just want to say it was uh, pretty comfortable. The mattress are about three inches thick. We didn't notice any issues back sleeping, but if you're a side sleeper, you might notice it just kind of compressing a little bit onto your sides. The heater we turned on last night and on full blast, this room actually got really warm. So we had to turn it off because we started sweating and it got pretty hot. So, and then those things, there's flaps on the outside. So that's mesh. And on the outside is uh, flaps that you can open up from the outside. There it is. You can see the wind just kind of blowing it open. If you want more light or ventilation in here, fire extinguisher, light switch for the lights we showed you i got a smoke detector up there i'll definitely do this again so as you can see it's a zipper so you just zip it down or zip it open or unzip it open you just put it right there you got the porch area over here so i think right now we're just going to get some coffee and breakfast and uh, make our way out Alright guys, so we finished our breakfast. Uh, we tried to come out to the beach to try to get, I wanted to get a few drone shots and things like that and, and just hang out, but it's way too windy. It's really cold, so we're just gonna head home. So yeah, that was the yurt experience. That was at Fort Stevens. Overall, it was a good time. If you ever do get a chance to camp out in a yurt, definitely worth it. It did rain overnight. Luckily it didn't rain while we were there last evening so we were able to do a campfire and things like that but it did rain overnight and it sounded pretty peaceful actually the rain hitting the yurt and stuff um what do you think how did you like that experience i thought it was really cool um there was a heater in there too which we didn't know about at first and so that was awesome it worked really well um it even got too hot but very comfortable um just a cool experience i would definitely do it again Especially considering like all are different, you know, they're not all the same. Yeah. So it's cool. Yeah. So the the yurt that we stayed at is like the generic basic yurt that you'll see most commonly out here in campgrounds. But there are more uh, fancy yurts, the ones with like bathrooms and kitchens and things like that. But of course those are more expensive. But the place we stayed is like a general idea of what it is to be uh, in a yurt out here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, that's how they are generally set up. So yeah hope you guys enjoyed it we enjoyed it uh, stick around like if you like the video or give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because we're gonna have more videos like this coming soon and like i said thanks for joining take care be safe and we'll see you guys next time